your brain goes with you and it carries all of the history in the form of memories. All you have from what happened before you is stored in the form of memories and they're not accurate and they're kind of uh, compressed. So that's all you have about the past. You have no idea in the future, even though your brain tries to predict it all the time. This is what dreams are for, this is what decisions are for. You try to kind of simulate the future and make predictions. You don't know what's going on. All you have is this kind of sliver of reality, which is the present, which is all you have. And you control everything that happens there. The nice thing about the present is that actually it interacts with everything in your brain and you can change things. What we learned in the last five years is that memories are, are different in how they work. And what, if I had to summarize it in one sentence, they change every time you use them. So if you have a memory stored here of what you had for lunch yesterday, yeah. and I ask you, what did you have for lunch? You basically open the memory right now and you tell me a story, but whatever happens right now goes into the story and you save it differently. And if I ask you tomorrow what you had for lunch, you'll open the modified version. So every time I ask you the same question, you open a different version, which means that you can actually change the past. You can actually change your experience of things. This is why therapy works, right? You go, your girlfriend breaks up with you, you go to the therapist, she asks you what happened, you tell the story, she intervenes, you save it differently. You ask you a week after what happened, you tell a different story. After five meetings, you have a different version of the reality. And that is powerful because it means that we control the narrative that we have. We don't really have to be kind of confound to the story that we experience. We can actually change it. This is what the brain is for, to simulate and change and adjust and synthesize better version of life. We can make ourselves happy. We can make bad things look better. We can control things and it's all by virtue of just telling a story, looking at it differently and saving it again. It's as simple as that. We have the ability to actually change the story all the time. So learning is one way to do that. Thinking and reflecting about ourselves is another way to do that. Having more experiences allows us to do that. We know all of this now. So suddenly there's, there's kind of essence to this self-help book that we read when we were kids and we know how to implement that. I become a preacher, but I... Uh, no, uh, man, I love it. I love it. And I hope people are listening to your sermon because this is like, that is the most important thing anybody struggling to have success should know is the narrative that you tell yourself about yourself is the most important thing you have. And if you tell yourself a story of um, struggle, inadequacy,